Lil Durk, the Chicago rapper known for his hit songs and influence in the drill scene, was arrested earlier this week. Reports came in late at night when law enforcement officials apprehended him in Florida, but what led to this shocking event? This arrest will be the end of Lil Durk and we will show you why in this video. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of Lil Durk, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Now, as many of you know, this isn't the first time Dirk has faced legal troubles. Back in 2019, he was involved in a shooting incident, but charges were eventually dropped. Throughout time, he has also faced other smaller charges, and that has ultimately gotten away from without serving any real time. But this latest arrest raises questions about his ongoing legal battles and what it means for his career, because Dirk has never faced charges like this. Earlier this week, Dirk was arrested in South Florida facing federal charges that he was involved in a murder-for-hire plot. This came after five members of OTF were indicted as co-conspirators in a murder-for-hire plot in LA. This indictment claimed that they put a hit out on rapper Quando Rondo in relation for the shooting of King Vaughn, but instead ended up taking the life of his cousin Lil Pab. Evidence shows that Lil Dirk ordered a hit and used banks and OTF-related finances to pay to carry it out. It's claimed that Dirk made it widely known among his network that he would pay a bounty to anyone that took out Rondo. A little while later, an associate of Little Dirk learned that Rondo was staying at a hotel in LA, and that same day, five OTF members flew from Chicago to California using funds provided by Little Dirk. While they were there, they got hotel rooms, ski masks, two sedans, and guns, and the next day found and followed Rondo and his cousin to a dispensary where they eventually ambushed and opened fire on them, missing Rondo but hitting his cousin. With this happening almost two years ago to them, just making an arrest now shows that they have put together a solid case which has a lot of incriminating evidence against Dirk, including a message he sent to the OTF members before they left to California saying, don't book no flights under no names involved with me. But the true evidence that links Dirk to this plot is because OTF credit cards were used to book flights, hotels, cars, and to purchase all the supplies for the hits. And the cherry on top is that an 18-page indictment also references text messages and traffic camera footage from the day of the shooting. There has also been rumors that an OTF member named Jam allegedly wore a wire and cooperated with authorities to get evidence about the shooting. But there was no reference to this in the indictment, so there is no true proof of this as of now. This is a serious situation for Little Dirk and he seemed to know what was coming after he was apparently attempting to flee the country as soon as the five OTF members were arrested in Chicago. He allegedly flew to Fort Lauderdale and booked two flights, one to Dubai and one to Switzerland. He didn't get on either of those flights and then booked a third flight on a private plane to Italy but was arrested before he could board it. Which has to be frustrating for little Dirk, especially knowing that he seemed to know what was coming and he tried to get away from it all, but now that he is in custody, there is absolutely no way that he could escape this entire fate and there's no way that things are looking good in his direction at all. Right now, little Dirk will be held as well as the other defendants who will be soon all transferred to LA to face these charges because that's where the crime happened. This could very well be the end of little Dirk's career as he may never see another day of freedom after this concludes. He did recently make his first court appearance and he had a lot of his family and other members show up to support him and right now he did post that he is in high spirits about being in jail but he did say that the food sucks. Like I said this could be the end of little Dirk. Things aren't looking good but we will have to wait and see what happens. See what new details come out and see all the updates that are recently revealed about the situation. In the meantime we will let you know and keep you updated on any new involvement in this situation and we also want to know what you think about this. Will Little Dirk beat these allegations, or do you think this is the end of him and his career? Let us know down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.